Hey, good morning, good evening, whatever time you're watching this. I am so thankful for you to stop by my channel to even watch it. All right, so my name is Beautifully Rewritten, and I looked into the book of Psalm chapter 40, and good news, you guys. I mean, at least I think it's good news. By the time we reach chapter 42, we will already have completed the first book of Psalms, so I'm kind of excited about that. Um, let me know what book we should dive into next, okay? So chapter 40, um, I was zeroing in on hmm, verse four. Uh, you ever get frustrated in your walk? Like you know God has promised you something and yet you have not seen this promise come into fruition yet? Well, y'all, I had that moment today. I texted somebody and stated, you know what, y'all? I need you guys to pray over me because I am so discouraged right now that I might dabble into something foolish. I mean, I was just being real and uh, hopefully they prayed for me. The Lord came to my aid because verse four says this, how blessed is the man who has made the Lord his trust and has not turned to the proud nor to those who lapse into falsehood. When I said I might dabble into foolishness, I mean, essentially it's me lapsing back into falsehoods, but my heart does not wanna lapse back into falsehood because there's nothing there, y'all. I don't know if that's you. Comment your thoughts down below if you have ever felt frustrated with um, in the waiting, I guess. Frustrated with being in the waiting. You know, you're seeing the same promise that God has promised you happen to so many other people and then it just causes you to get frustrated. And I'm realizing the wrong that I did in there and that is just taking my eyes off of Christ and focusing on the things around me, focusing on people not realizing their situations. I took the bait. Lord, forgive me and thank you, Holy Spirit, for letting me know that. <laughs> anyway, you guys, comment your thoughts down below if, if I'm not alone in this, okay? So I truly hope that was a word of encouragement, uh, using my story to encourage you guys. I don't know. Um, I hope so. How was your day yesterday? Have you? Are you currently dealing with fear? Are you struggling with anything? Comment your thoughts down below or DM me, whatever you'd like to do, okay? Just so you know, I wanted to remind you guys that about, about the power of praise and the power of worship. Um, you see what the enemy's doing around us. He is taking away people of God from worshiping together. And when you worship together, things in the spirit begin to happen. There is movement, there is a shifting that takes place. This is why we see in um, the Bible, God telling his people to march around the city and worship. I believe they were worshiping around the city or proclaiming around the city. There were other scriptures where God was talking about, um, you know, worship right before war was to be fought, you know? And there's just so many powerful scriptures where God says to his people who are in trouble, I need you to worship. And that's exactly what God is calling you and I to do, okay? So wherever you're at, worship your father. If you are around two or three people, then try and worship with them together too, okay? I actually did that with my sisters yesterday and I know some things happened. <laughs> so just worship your father, okay? Because the enemy is literally trying to take that from all of us and he's actually succeeding in this y'all mm, comment your dot your thoughts down below if you currently believe god is in control therefore i should not do anything or i do not need to do anything comment your thoughts down below if that is your current mindset i need you guys to know that that mindset is incorrect all right um comment your thoughts down below if you don't really understand his will what free will is, what God's sovereignty looks like in situations like the coronavirus. Comment your thoughts down below. All right, let's go ahead and get into worship.
Heavenly Father, I come before your throne in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. For you are the King of glory, magnificent, worthy, higher than anything else, O oh God. You are one to be trusted. You are one that we can follow. Thank you for being our guide, especially on this day, especially in this season, in this time in history, Lord, where we are dealing with yet another plague, Lord God. So Father, I know that you were not the cause of this plague, but I also know you have the ability to stop it. And Father, I also know that you are waiting for all of us to repent so we can stop wickedness from spreading among the earth. So Lord, I don't know who's watching my videos. I don't know every soul that's watching my videos. But Lord God, I'm praying over every person out there. Please protect them, guide them, create in them a clean heart and renew a steadfast and loyal spirit within them, Father. Father, we know that if they do not, or I do not, anyone, if no one has a clean heart, Lord, then it is hard for them to receive your protection. So Father, please penetrate their heart with your truth if it's not clean. And if it is clean, may you do the same. Draw those who are far off from you back onto yourself, O oh God. And draw those who are near to you, Lord, under submission to you, Father. Stir in their hearts to say yes to your will, Father, so we can see change occur on this earth. We love you, Lord. It's in your son, Jesus Christ. In his name I pray, 